What if the vehicles we take for granted, like buses and trucks, suddenly transformed into futuristic machines that look like they are out of the Back to the Future movie? In China, that dream is now becoming a reality, with trucks and cars running on a combination of hydrogen and electricity, all at a price that won't drain your bank account. But are these future commercial vehicles sustainable? How much would they cost? And most importantly, what options are already on the market? Let's find out. Shenzhen's self-driving bus. Starting the list off with Shenzhen's self-driving bus, it seems like China is making automation the new normal. If there's one city that embodies technological boldness out of nowhere, it's Shenzhen. And in early 2024, they quietly introduced a new design to the streets, including their autonomous buses. But these buses are strange because they don't come with any steering wheels or human drivers. To make it interesting, they glide right across real traffic routes that are powered by Huawei's AI backbone, cameras, LiDAR, and advanced sensors. We're sure that after hearing the word Huawei, the United States must be punching the air. But what does this bus cover? Only a modest 1.6 mile route with three stops, but what matters isn't the distance. It's the fact that they can navigate dynamic traffic in real time without having any human touch to it. Right now, China isn't marketing crazy because even they know a 1.6 mile route isn't something to boast about. But for cities struggling with labor shortages, rising fuel costs, and even congestion, this is a dream come true. Safe, efficient, and scalable, the Shenzhen self-driving buses will continue to improve and become a full citywide network in the upcoming years. But the real question is, Will they launch these buses all over the world, or will they be China-specific? Well, I don't know about you, but with a fare of just 1 yuan or 0.14 USD, I would love to travel on this futuristic badass bus every single day. GAC Pickup 01 The GAC Pickup 01 resembles the Tesla Cybertruck, but only if it were better looking, stronger, cooler, and owned by Batman. Pickup vehicles no longer need to be boxy, noisy, or dull. Instead, the GAC feels like something that could have rolled right out of a futuristic SUV lineup. The design it has is sleek, aggressive, and unapologetically modern. And unlike the traditional picks, it doesn't scream like it's made for a workhorse, but more like you would want to flex it on your friends. Underneath its bold exterior, the Pickup 01 is entirely electric, designed to cover long distances without sacrificing efficiency. The official range hasn't hit yet, but the Pickup 01 is intended to hit the Saudi market by 2027, which is quite a bold claim. However, it's good to see that a technology like this wouldn't be limited to just China. Inside the hood, we have the GAIA Intelligent Platform, which dynamically adjusts suspension and powertrain for various terrains. There is sci-fi and mecha-inspired angular with digital side mirrors and the interior. Quite literally, a panoramic display with a beautifully designed octagonal steering wheel and a dual-mode intelligent cockpit. According to the company, the GAC Pickup 01 aims to be an omni-terrain pickup, featuring features like advanced driver assistance, safety system, and a variety of options including petrol, hybrid, plug-in hybrid, and all electric. But wait till you hear the price. With all these specifications, the company behind this pickup truck wants to keep it under $28,000 which is nothing when we compare it to Cybertruck, which starts at $72,000 and doesn't look half as good as the GAC Pickup 01. While most people would be worried about investing in a company that they've never heard of before, just know that the GAC Pickup 01 is backed by none other than Jeff Bezos. So, will GAC Pickup 01 become a flop? Tell us in the comments below. BYD8TT when you think about BYD, you think of all these fancy electric cars that are available everywhere in the world. Secondly, when you think about long-haul trucks, you would imagine images of growling diesel engines and fumes coming out of an Optimus Prime-looking truck. But BYD has destroyed that stereotype completely with its 8TT model, which is a fully electric semi-truck that is already making movies in China, Canada, and even the US now. 
On a single charge, this bad boy can cover 167 miles and comes with fast charging capabilities, so truckers wouldn't have to wait half a day for their trucks to load. Fleet operators, once they found out about the 8TT, quickly realized its advantage. But it wasn't just because of sustainability or going green. You see, a long-haul truck's annual maintenance can cost at approximately $15,000 to $25,000 a year, which includes routine maintenance, repairs, replacements, and other damages. But with the 8TT, that maintenance drops significantly since there's no complex diesel system involved. Now, you must be wondering, since this is an electric truck, the performance would be totally crap, right? That's certainly not the case with 8TT, since with a payload capacity of 82,000 pounds and peak horsepower of 483, it doesn't shy away from hard work. For the drivers, it's also quieter, provides a smoother experience, ultimately producing less fatigue and more comfort. In a world where freight is one of the toughest sectors to decarbonize, BYD 8TT dropped the source, making it possible just like that. But we haven't even talked about the price yet, because that would surprise you the most. While we couldn't find the actual pricing, in the US, it is listed between $180,000 and $250,000. This rivals the high-end long-haul trucks, but in the end, it saves you lots of money in fuel and maintenance. Farazon Xinghan H. Long-haul trucks often spend days or even weeks on roads, and what's amazingly annoying is that companies put less care into making it comfortable for the truckers. Enter Farazon Xinghan H, which prioritizes luxury, sustainability, and performance. This truck is a new energy heavy-duty truck that is designed for long-range, efficient logistics, and its availability would shock you. It uses the alcohol hydrogen electric or pure electric to move over 600 kilometers on a single charge. That is because it's backed by a 660 kilowatt hour battery, and for pure electric models, the range goes up to 1,500 kilometers, which is just insane. The insanity doesn't end there because the alcohol hydrogen version boasts ultra low energy consumption, ranging from one to 1.2 kilowatt hours per kilometer, and features a 1200 amp liquid cooled twin gun enabling an 80% fast charge in just 45 minutes. Moving to the comfort feature, the cabin comes in medium, large or extra large sizes for different needs, with an 8 square meter flagship residence cabin also available. The vehicle also features advanced safety, intelligent architecture and unique technologies like facial ID recognition and even OTA upgrades. For drivers, this is revolutionary. Instead of living out in cramped cabins, truckers can now have a real living space, making long journeys less draining and more human. Currently, the price of this truck is not listed, but it is likely expensive due to its intelligent, heavy design. The company's ambitions are global, with plans to export to Europe, Korea and Japan, aiming to rewrite the rules for global logistics and add a touch of luxury. If you were a trucking company, would you introduce this luxury vehicle's fleet for your clients? Tell us in the comments below. Inceptio's Level 3 Autonomous Trucks Speaking of luxury, you don't need it if you don't have drivers, right? That's exactly what Inceptio did with their Level 3 Autonomous Trucks. These are full driverless trucks that may still be a few years away, but Inceptio technology is bridging the gap with its Level 3 trucks. These trucks already run live logistics operations on various Chinese highways, assisting human drivers with long distance hauling. The trucks come with radar, LiDAR and advanced AI while also including high resolution cameras, making them perform lane changes, handle mergers and even regulate speeds automatically. But what about the drivers? Well, they sit back, monitor and only do the steps when absolutely necessary. Now, imagine in a few years, there are fully autonomous robots doing the heavy lifting. We wouldn't even need humans or anyone. But Inceptio doesn't want to replace the drivers entirely. They want to make their work safer, less exhausting, and much more efficient. Fleets benefit from reduced accidents, lower consumption, and increased uptime.
and according to a 2024 analysis, a level 2 or 3 autonomous truck in China could cost you around $112,000, which isn't that hefty a price considering you're going to save in the long run. FAW's Hydrogen Freightliner while FAW has been producing our usual cookie-cutter traditional trucks for the longest time, they have changed the game with their hydrogen Freightliner models. China's FAW group is betting big on liquid hydrogen tricks. Thanks to their Track 1000 system, they have already garnered an impressive 620 miles per refuel, far beyond what most electric trucks can provide as of this date. However, hydrogen vehicles have always been seen as a one-trick pony due to their limited storage and high cost. However, FAW is now providing its cryogenic cooling with ultra-low temperature storage systems, making it viable for companies while ensuring that refueling takes only minutes. Talking about sustainability, these trucks have emissions that are essentially water vapor. The energy density rivals that of diesel trucks without exhaling toxic fumes all over. For long hauling, the FAW's Hydrogen Freightliner is a game changer, but China isn't the only key player here. There are companies like Great Wall Motors that are also pushing hydrogen. Do you think that hydrogen is the future even beyond electric? Let us know in the comments down below. And before we move on to our next innovative vehicle, subscribe to our channel if you're interested in futuristic tech videos. Wuhan Suspended Monorail https www.youtube.com watch 6j tqv 6 ekmm public transportation has always been a bit boring after bullet trains and them going electric we never got to see innovation in this sector but wuhan is a city that takes public transportation into the sky yes you've got it right the suspended monorail floats 33 feet above the ground gliding silently on an overhead track. This monorail was first launched in 2023, connecting 16 stations across 16.6 .6 miles while moving passengers quickly through China's busiest cities. Since it is suspended, it doesn't need to go on the road or even disrupt public spaces or city flow. The construction was faster and the integration was excellent, reducing traffic congestion massively. Inside, the passengers enjoy panoramic glass views and a futuristic riding experience. This monorail cost around $341 million to come into being and it keeps on improving with more models coming out for other Chinese cities. XCMG ZNK95 HTTPS www.youtube.com Chati Watch 7MVD LVDGUAQ. Some vehicles look so futuristic that they seem ripped from a science fiction film. Similar is the case with the XCMG ZNK95, a fully autonomous all electric mining truck. What makes it amazing is that it has no cab at all. Instead of having a traditional cab, this mining monster relies on AI navigation, radar, and terrain adaptive controls to haul massive loads under rugged mining terrain. No driver means no fatigue, no error, and no wasted space on the vehicle. More than 100 of these trucks are already working in China's mining industry and are available at a price of just over $100,000, which is innovative and could make a working fleet for mining. With zero emissions and continuous operations, the XCMG ZNK95 is making the world of mining cleaner, safer, and far more efficient than it was before. Final verdict. From trucks that double as apartments to driverless mining beasts, these are some future Chinese buses and trucks that are taking automation to the next level. Which did you like best? Let us know in the comments down below and subscribe to our channel if you're looking to enjoy more tech-related content.